Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri Zone here. How's everybody doing? I'm playing Super Mario RPG here for you. Or should I say, welcome back to Swirly! Welcome back to Super Mario... Oh man, I messed it up. Anyway. Um... Okay, so in this video, it's probably going to be kind of a... Sort of almost a bonus video. I'm going to uh, show this hidden fight here. Against this hidden character. It's been sealed. Look, the shiny stone is reacting. Now, at this point in the game, you can't expect to win this fight, and I don't expect to win this fight. But I thought I would show it. Because it's just so badass. And besides, I love the music for it, too. Greetings. I am Kulux, Dark Knight of Vandal. I have crossed into this dimension to fight for the Dark Mage. But this world is uninhabitable for me and my kind. I must return to my own world. Before I go, though, I would like to challenge your strongest knight. Will you accept my challenge? You will enter combat against me? <laughs> I love the offense, yes. Uh... On guard! Yes, this music is so freaking awesome. Okay, so, where do I begin? I have no idea. Let's see. I could do Ultra Jump, but the reason I didn't do Ultra Jump in the last video is because it's too slow, quite frankly. At least I think it is. Yeah, and, and the timing's gonna be off on this because apparently my TV burned out. My old TV. So I'm actually playing directly off the capture card, which means I got some lag. Which means bad, bad things. Let me see if this works by any chance. I don't think it will because it's not supposed to on bosses. But this attack right here is actually the one attack in the game that can do max damage. No, I didn't think so. <laughs> if you don't do it right, well then you're kind of screwed. Um, hmm. Once he starts attacking, then you'll see what I mean by you won't win this fight. Okay, well that wasn't so bad, but yeah. Combined all together, these attacks will start to add up, so... <laughs> well, good lord, princess. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. And, of course, Kulex himself gets to do an attack. Wow, that's amazing. Now, one thing I really wanted to show, which I... For some reason, failed to show in the last... Wait, is, is the rock candy, actually? I wanted to show the rock candy, but, uh, wow. Princess must be immune to elements or something. Because, uh, normally when you throw a rock candy in battle, and I'm not gonna, like, just, like, what I'm gonna do is probably reset so I don't say, so I don't lose this. But rock candy does 200 damage to all enemies, but if you're boosted and you use it, it does 300. See? Pretty cool, huh? Should have brought Mario back, but oh well. I'm <laughs> surprised she survived and all that. It must be an accessory in the safety net or something. <laughs> well, it's up to you, Princess. What can you do? Oh, nothing, apparently. Yeah, so you're not gonna last long against that guy if you uh, do that. But as you can see, since I you know, lost the battle, I also lost my rock candy. Wait, no, I didn't. Well, holy crap, I guess this takes you back to your last save. Well, that's good. I was worried I was going to have to reset the Wii. I guess I won't have to do that after all. Holy crap, I tried to stay pretty quiet during that battle because it's so epic. But, uh, so I want to get back and play that other song. Man, this is really annoying trying to play this with lag. Yeah, I turned on the TV this morning and there's some crackling sounds coming out of the back of it. And I'm like, well, shit. I want to start an electrical fire or something, so... Wait, no, we don't want to go that way. We want to go this way. This could get annoying real fast. Huh. <laughs> have to find a way to hook this up to the big TV. Okay, what was the song again? It was a... Dun, 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 dun. Okay. No! Shit. Okay, let me start over. <laughs> 
Okay, I think we got it this time. That should be it. Oh, he's all excited. Oh my god, he's like, that's it. This is the melody I've been looking for. Thank you for the inspiration. This is the answer. Soprano card, huh? Nice. Finally, my song is nearly complete, and I must confess that you contributed a lot to it. We can all take credit for it. Now you must think of the final phrase that will wrap it all up. Let your creative juices flow and show me what you got. Oh, man. Do I have to write my own music here? Okay. Wait. Uh, I'll do something. There we go. That's pretty good, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> yeah! Okay, here we go. Listen to this. It's our song. That wasn't too bad, huh? Cool. So what's now? So what do you think? Uh, never mind. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> I want to recompose it. Well, be that way then. Holy crap! Hey, that was kind of cool. I forgot that it played it with like lush orchestrated background music. Background music. Geez. Anyway, can we talk? I heard your composition, and it's pretty good. Oh, thanks. That's awesome. I was hoping you'd be kind of like blown away by it. But, that's cool. Okay, so I got the Soprano card. Wow, Soprano card holder! What can I get you? And now he gives us the option to buy Mega Elixirs, which restore 150 HP to the party, and Kiro Kiro Colas, which recover fully. So, so what I'm gonna do, actually, is I'm gonna sell my obsolete items, which include Mid Mushroom, I'm gonna sell the, whoop, the, the, I'm gonna sell the Bracer, and, uh, let's see, and the Elixirs to sell those. I guess I can sell the shiny stone now, I really haven't... Well, I might not be able to get back in that door, though, if I sell it, yeah. Someone's luck it will. I guess that could be cool, but... Yeah. I don't need that. So, yeah, we'll just buy... Let's see, how many? How many should we get? I think four will be good. I'm, I'm not using them hardly, so I don't know. It's like, eh. Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. Oh. Man, I'm up to 24 Frog Coins already? Wow. Amazing. Okay, anyway, uh, what else was it I needed to do? There was, like, one other thing. And, wow, I can't think of what it was. Huh. Dude, would you... I can't get him to move, man. Jeez, holy crap. Uh, was it in Mulville? I don't think I needed to do anything. Uh, there is something I could do at Booster Tower. There's actually a number of things I could do there, but I'm kind of sort of holding back on that until later. Just because, uh... You know, feel like doing it right now, so. Monstro Town. Oh, I know what else I needed to do. Oh, man, why didn't I think of this? Since I got 30 jumps in the battle with Jinx, that entitles me to a prize, thanks to this little fella, not this guy, but next door, this guy right here. He says, I heard your record for jumping stands at 61 right now. Wow, you did it. You made over 30 jumps. All right, here's your prize. Got an attack scarf. Let's have a look at that, baby. Oh, believe, baby. I, I imagine it couldn't be that much better than the Jinx belt, but, well, let's find out. Holy shit! Wait a minute. Okay, let me... Ugh. That can't be real. It's 180 and 96. And... 83 and 99, but that also boosts magic attack by a whole hell of a lot. And magic defense by 30 each. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever actually gotten this accessory before, guys, so holy crap. Okay, you know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna change the party around. Just to make things a little more interesting here and a little more challenging as far as that goes. No, I don't wanna play this stupid game! Ugh. Just die, thank you. No, and... Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna switch out the princess for Bowser. Yeah. We 
gotta make sure somebody has the experience booster. Didn't I say I wanted to put that on the princess? Let's do that. Um, experience booster on the princess. Bowser is gonna get the Jinx belt. Oh yeah. And then Gino. Oh, he's got the safety badge. Well, I want him with the safety ring, actually. So, there. Okay, we are good to go. Where are we gonna go exactly, though? I have no idea. I think we need to go back to Land's End, actually. Because this is a little off the beaten path, and I think we've pretty much taken care of most everything we wanted to do here. We got the prize for that. We tried to fight Q-Lex, obviously. We failed miserably. I'm pretty sure it, he is beatable at this level, but... At the same time, I'm just not that good. <laughs> well, maybe with the attack scarf I could do it, but... Oh man, do we have to go through this again? Timing's gonna be so hard to do this on my capture card, because I'm playing, like, with about a half a second of delay. So it's really hard to time things out the exact right way. Well, the battle animations seem to be fairly, pretty much the same. They still, they still seem to be working. This is what I'm worried about here. Yeah, whoa, whoa. Maybe I'll just meet you up at the cliff, because you know where it is, right? Ah, oh, and here we are at the cliff, and now the Koopas are here, alright. Or the Sky Troopas, I should say. Ten. All troops in positions. Mario, your mission is to scale the cliff by jumping shell to shell. Okay, this is gonna be hard. This action sequence with the lag, oh god. I can already see it. Gotta do it, so don't have a choice. So what you want to do is the shells will basically carry you to the next one, but if you're quick enough, you can jump to the next one before it takes you there. Don't give up. Sure and steady does it. Now try it again. Yeah. Oh, figures the TV burn out on the day I really need it. Dude, get up there. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh. Great. It's all the way back to Ocarina of Time now. I'm just gonna let it take me because right now, like, if you get a time of like 12 seconds or less on this, you get a really good prize. Well, you get a troop of him. I'm not sure exactly what it does, but basically, if you want to, you could just do it this way. So I can show you this. So if you felt uncomfortable with jumping, you could do it this way. But you can actually jump like from one to the next and get a really good time. Mission accomplished. Like time is 26 seconds. Not bad for a civilian. Yeah, I suppose. Oh, are you gonna let me up there? Thank you. And that takes us to Bean Valley. Boy, I wonder what this place smells like. The more you eat, the more you toot, huh? I think we're actually gonna wait till the next episode to start on that, though, because, you know, we've done a lot of backtracking, and quite frankly, I can't be bothered to play with this lag anymore. So, next time on Super Mario RPG, we take on Bean Valley. You know, in the bathroom! See you later, guys.